long hailed as one of Africa's success stories. Years of steady growth has made Kenya into a regional economic heavyweight. But amid that rapid growth and a prolonged population boom, Kenya's health services haven't been able to keep up. For decades, the country has faced a scarcity of healthcare professionals. According to the World Health Organization, by 2017, the country was facing a shortage of around 40,000 doctors and paramedics. Turkey has played host to thousands of African students since the 1980s, hoping to help Kenya fill that gap. Over the past few decades, hundreds of Kenyans attended and graduated from universities across Turkey. After completing their education, many returned home, hoping to use their newly acquired skills to help tackle challenges facing their country. Bashar Ali was one of them. Having graduated in medicine from the Istanbul University in 2011, he is now a surgeon at Kenya's largest hospital. In his free time, he volunteers at one of Africa's largest refugee camps, the Kakuma Refugee Camp in Kenya's northwest. Bashar says the Turkish government scholarship he studied under had an important goal. The aim of the scholarship was not to just uh, take us to Turkey and then when you finish you stay in Turkey. It was meant to be you come back to your community and uh, try to uh, help your community. As much as the Turkish community were very, very good to us and they have been very welcoming, we knew that uh, people back home needed us more. And it isn't just healthcare where Kenya has sought outside help in training its next generation of professionals. Abdi Isa travelled to Turkey to study in 1988 with hopes of returning back to help his local community. Initially trained as a doctor, Abdi recently achieved his lifelong goal. He was elected as the mayor of Isiolo, his hometown in eastern Kenya. My Turkish education contributed 100% to what I am today. I thought that if I will change my home area, even a small bit, then I will have achieved my goals. Though that's why I joined politics. Providing humanitarian aid has long been a cornerstone of Turkey's foreign policy. But for the Turkish ambassador in Nairobi, providing aid alone is just not enough and needs to be complemented with professional training and education. Turkey is a very important uh, education uh, destination for Africa, especially in the fields of uh, their education, in the fields of uh, mainly uh, medical, engineering, and very high quality education. And these people who had their education in Turkey become, uh, let's say, uh, honorary ambassadors uh, in their countries and to develop our relations. That's why uh, we attach great importance to uh, this, uh, I mean, the education aspect of our uh, foreign policy. Back at the Kakuma refugee camp, Bashar continues to tend to countless patients. But his work isn't only focused on the day-to-day -day needs of those suffering from illness and injury. He wants to ensure that the skills he's acquired abroad are passed on to as many people as possible, so that the Kenyans can take charge of their own future. Omar Kablan, Straight Talk, Nairobi, Kenya.